Hi guys, it's Mario. I am so excited today. I finally have one of the toner dolls of Mary Poppins. So, I've been waiting a long time to get one of these. She was released back in 2007, so now the only way to find any of these dolls is really just on eBay. Um, and every time there is a Mary Poppins doll on eBay, she's super expensive, way overpriced, if you even find one, because they hardly ever come by. So, I got lucky and was able to get this one. She is perfect and i love julie andrews so i needed to have one all right so a little bit of information about this doll this one is called jolly holiday she's 16 inches tall limited edition of 1000 the retail price was 179 dollars and 99 cents she also has 15 points of articulation now again right now on ebay she's nowhere near 179 she's way over that she's so expensive but I, I got her for a decent price and a bid back in 2007 tana released a whole lineup of dolls and i made this little chart for you guys as you see there's two dolls that came fully dressed and four separate outfits they're all amazing so now moving on to the actual doll the box is pretty standard toner doll box. It's all blue and it says Mary Poppins in silver in the front. And right on the bottom it says the name, which is Jolly Holiday. She brings a hat that is pretty cool and accurate to the movie. And it's very easy to remove and put back on. It's very pretty. It has little flowers on it. And it's really nicely detailed and tailored, as you can see. And it doesn't mess up her hair or anything, so it's perfect. She also brings what's called a parasol, which I just call it umbrella, but, you know, let's get fancy here. It says parasol on the website, so parasol it is. <laughs> it's beautiful. It's really just for display purposes. You're not able to open it like it doesn't open and close, you know, but, um, you know, really you want to display her with it open. So that's really beautiful. It has all these amazing trims on it um, and this whole design of like little flowers. You're able to remove um, the actual uh, stick, I'm not sure what to call it, and it's actually made out of wood, and then the bird is metal. It's really cool, his mouth opens and closes, really, really nice, and it's very well painted as well, all painted white. Her face is, of course, beautiful. They did an amazing job capturing the likeness of Julie Andrews. Um, there's a lot of hand-painted details on her face. Her eyes are hand-painted in a light blue, she has very soft makeup and red lips and a little bit of blush. She looks so beautiful. They capture her perfectly. Look at that. She's perfect. Now her hairstyle is really nice. It's accurate to the movie. It's rooted saran hair with very little gel and it's styled very nicely. She has curls on the side, parted down the middle and she has a bun in the back and it's all so nicely put, not messy at all. Maybe there's like one or two hairs out, but I can take care of that. She's perfect. The bodice on this dress is gorgeous. As you see, all these ruffles with the little beads, all these little flower details, it's just so beautiful. And as you turn her around, you can keep seeing all those details. They go all the way to the back, the sleeves, the back of the dress is beautiful. Um, the red corset, you're actually able to take it off if you like. You know, um, initially when you get her in the box, it comes without it and you have to put it on. It's beautiful and I'm so happy that it hasn't stained the fabric, which I thought it would because it's such a bright red. It's so, so pretty. Now, as you turn her around, you can see um, the sleeves are beautiful. They have these little flowers embroidery on them. And she has these gloves and her fingernails are painted red. It's so well coordinated, this whole, um, this whole outfit and doll. And of course, the, the actual little gloves come right off very easily without a problem but you know it the look is not complete without them so i like to keep them on <laughs> her skirt has all these amazing details all these embroidery flowers and red bows as you can see all the flowers look different and they're so so pretty there's a lot of work <laughs> that went into this outfit definitely when you actually open it up you can see how many of those little flowers are all around it and in the back too that's extremely detailed and it's so beautiful when you lift it up there's one layer which is just um, a white shiny color I would say and then she has an underskirt to make it poofy and she has an underwear and stockings her shoes are incredible they're made out of this material that's very similar to real leather 
um, and they're so pretty they're white and red and they have these beads and you actually have to put the fabric through the beads so i was really scared to do that and break anything but they look incredible toner always does the best shoes Alrighty, my jolly friends, that pretty much wraps up my review of this beautiful doll. I'm, again, super, super happy to finally have this doll, and hopefully I can get the other Mary Poppins doll. I just think they're wonderful, and Toner always does the best job ever. So, now, I don't know if most of you know, but they are making a sequel to Mary Poppins, and it's called Mary Poppins Returns, and Emily Blunt will be playing her. So, hopefully, Disney Store gives us some dolls then. Alrighty guys, well thank you, thank you so much for watching. I will see you all on my next video. Take care. Bye-bye.